y'all so today i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be talking about my little simone beauty bar <laughs> i am nala simone and nala simone beauty bar is my business i am a young entrepreneur um i started nala simone beauty bar almost a year ago so we're going to turn a year in february so I started Nala Simone Beauty Bar February 22nd, 2019. From there, it just progressed into what it is today. And I'm so thankful for everybody who has supported me and my brand and bought something for my brand because I am just appreciative because you know, once you start, when you start a real business and you take it serious, it's very scary. You know, you don't know if you're gonna get sales, you don't know if you're gonna get this, you don't know if you're gonna get that. But like, thank you just to anybody who has ever supported me in my business because honestly, I could have not had any support. I could have not had any sales. I could have not had anything. So thank you to everybody who supported me. I'm gonna give you the straight tea on this business. I'm gonna give you the straight tea on what this entrepreneur life is like. I'm gonna give you the straight tea on how it's not easy at all. It's not easy at all. It's not gonna be, you know, when you first come out, it's not gonna be, okay, sales. No, it's not gonna take it to the top. You have to work to get to the top. I'm still in my growth stage. I'm still growing and I'm still getting better and I'm still learning stuff. And you know, I just want to share this with you guys so you guys can know me and know my story and know everything like that. So basically, I'm gonna start off with why I started Nelson Mo Beauty Bar. So I started Nelson Mo Beauty Bar because I love, love, love lashes. At the time, I was wearing lashes every single day. I wanted to be a lash technician, still coming. Watch out for me 2020, cause I'm still working on that. But I wanted to be a lash technician and an esthetician. I was so into, you know, skin, taking care of it. I was so intrigued on it and I was so interested that I wanted to just make that like a brand itself. Like I just wanted to have my name on it. I always knew that I wanted to be a boss. I didn't want to work for anybody later on in my life. I don't want to work for a single soul. You know, I just want to be the boss. So from, I want to say October of 2018, I started selling lashes for homecoming just to see how I was going to do. I sell lashes for $5 and then some for $7. So I just wanted to see how I was going to do. And I sold out like in a week basically i sold out in a week which i was so thankful because i was like so surprised like i was like good so at least i know that people are interested into buying stuff from me you know because you always have to try out that field i would recommend if you're going to sell something just try it out for a second just try to sell um little random stuff and see if somebody's going to support you on it because once you see that you have support on it then take it far then from october i kind of stopped selling at november and from november to february i worked my butt off let's just say that and i was trying to find things i need to sell i need i was trying to find vendors i was trying to find bubble mailers i was trying to find all this equipment to start my business up and i was looking at multiple youtube videos how to get your business running i was doing my job because i wanted to wanted to start it and i knew i didn't want it to be um just like you know dm me i wanted a website i wanted this i wanted that i set up my website in january i had a income job so i was able to pay for my website on my own i just wanted everything to be on my own i wanted to pay for everything on my own i didn't want to ask for no handouts i was working at claire's and they only paid me 725 and i was getting like 12 hours each two weeks so if you add that up that's not a lot of money but i was trying to set my money straight you know i really wasn't trying to ask for handouts because i didn't really want to ask for handouts because i wanted this to be something that you know wasn't supported by my parents something i did by myself so that's really why I go hard for Nala Simone Beauty Bar because it's just something that I feel like I did. So I was so thankful that God had just blessed me with a job that I could basically just fund my own business and keep investing into myself. So February 22nd is when I released my website. I released it and I'll show you guys my Instagram post. This is basically what it first looked like. And um, I was just so excited. I was so excited. I got a sale on the first day and I came out with just lashes. I came out with three different type of lashes. One I'm wearing right now, which is honey. I came out with NSC and I came out with fresh. But I'll show you what my website looked like. If I have a picture of what my website looked at, looked like at first, I'll show you guys. But I basically did my own website by myself. I sold my lashes. I sold them for $10 each. Um, and I got my first sale the first day. I was so thankful. February, I was doing good. Making a lot of sales and stuff. 
so um basically that's how this basically started it it's just it was natural to me i've always wanted to sell something as well i've always had these little ideas in my head so you know this one is just the beginning of one of my ideas in my head i have more ideas to come this, not some of you do it's just the beginning i moved on to the reality of a business the reality of a business is that it's not easy you're not gonna make what you wish that you're not gonna make what you think that you're gonna make you know it's gonna be ups and downs people will make it seem like it's just the easiest thing because they have made it to a certain point you know they have crushed that threat they have crossed that threshold where they're getting sales and their their following is growing but when you start from the bottom and everybody starts from the bottom it's never that easy you have to really invest into yourself and invest into your brand because if you don't invest all the way and you just have but it, it's just not gonna get you anywhere. It's not gonna get you where you really wanna go. You say you start your business now, you start your um, lash business, you're not gonna get to where you wanna be if you're just not promoting yourself, not showing everybody, not telling everybody, not taking it serious. You might think that everybody out here that you know you look up to and that have their own entrepreneur businesses, they are struggling too. It might not be the same struggle as you, but they're struggling too. And I had to realize that some people that I looked up to that were entrepreneurs, they were making it seem so easy. Like, it's like it's so easy. Like, it's just a breeze. When in reality, they are struggling on some stuff. And I'm not going to even tell you and say, I'm not struggling. I am trying to make sales. I have goals. And so, yes, I am trying to achieve them. You know, sometimes I might not achieve them, but I know that I try. As you, you feel me? Don't come into the business. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna sell out the first day because I want to tell you, you can say that and you can manifest that, and it can come true. It can happen for some people, but it's not guaranteed. You know, the spot is not guaranteed to sell out the first day unless you're doing it, unless you're manifesting it, unless you're in tune with it. If you're just in it for the money, then it's not gonna come the first day, and that's just that's just honesty, and that's just the best way I can tell you. It's not gonna come the first day and <laughs> i don't have anything to tell you finding vendors is not as easy as it seems for me it wasn't because i didn't trust a lot of people out of the country i didn't trust you know putting in my card information on this this website that's coming from all the way from china then giving them my my housing information like i didn't trust that as good as much um but I can't tell you once you find a vendor, stick to them. And then once you find a vendor and you have a new idea, try to find a better vendor because I tell you it will increase your sales and increase your growth. I'm gonna move on to how I stay organized and how I keep up with my ideas and how I keep up with everything that includes my business. So I would recommend y'all getting a notebook. This is my notebook, but I've always had a notebook since my first when it's my first time you know creating ideas for not small beauty bar this notebook saves me i have something from the first day i think so the first day that i started on my business you know just working on it was january 2nd 2019 the first day i started in this book this is not the first time i started in like working on my business ideas but the first time i started in this book and now i'm all the way right here so i've used this much just full of ideas and stuff i'm telling you like i load this book up with goals with the budgeting um with just ideas of new items that i could come out with you know ingredients recipes like this is like a secret book like this is like secretive like it has everything in here that i ever thought of like just everything that you see is in here or everything that you haven't seen yet is in here i would just say get a notebook to stay organized this will also be your manifestation notebook you know you want to manifest good things to you like it's just a lot in this book and i tell you guys you know you can just start off by when you first start off your business just start off by what name you want to choose what what do you want to sell vendors i have a vendors list in here like i have a lot of stuff in here like ideas i sketch in here for new stuff like i sketch like everything it's put into this one book and i just love it and i feel like you guys need a notebook to be an entrepreneur you need organization to be an entrepreneur because things can get messy and you just need a policy and a, just a hard thing that you can just come back to me have your ideas get you guys a notebook and just 
right 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 because it's going to help you and it's going to keep you organized and it's just the best thing to do you always want to make sure that you're different from the other person there's enough money for everybody in this world but you also want to make sure that you're not copying others you also want to make sure that you're yourself you also want to make sure that your your brand is unique when you come to Nala Simone Beauty Bar I want you to feel different than how you felt from her brand or his brand or that brand or his brand or her brand like I just want to make you feel different from the others so you always want to make sure you um just try to be different because in this business world there is a lot of copiers I can say and you know sometimes it is okay for you to get inspired by others um work because i've seen a lot of stuff that i get inspired by but one thing that i don't do is copy it and that's for any business beyond beauty business clothing business shoe business customizing business any business you just want to make sure that you keep yourself different and you're not the same as everything else so yeah just stay positive just have a positive mind when it comes to everything just try to stay happy and you know it does get negative in this world you know you can't go days without selling stuff i have had that you can might have a month where you just didn't hit your goal of how much you want to sell but it's okay because as long as you stay positive as long as you feel like your product is the sweet sugar honey iced tea then you are good you are good it's going to come to you god has everything in plan you know um never question god's plan because your plan could be worse than what god has in store for you god's plan is always better than what you have so yeah i'm done i'm done talking about that so now i'm going to show you guys what i do sell on alstomo beauty bar so if you guys want to purchase any items i do sell lip glosses so right now i am going to start my valentine's day sale but these are a bunch of lip glosses that i sell this is called passion burst it's going to be one of my valentine's day lip glosses it's so pretty and it's tinted so you can have your red lipstick on and then put this in a red gloss I have my orange Dior, like the best lip gloss ever. It energizes you, it has orange, it has lemon in it, and it has flowers in it. And I just love it. It's so pretty, and it just energizes you for the morning time. Ocean Bliss, this is just a clear base lip gloss. So I do have lip glosses that have color to them, but they're also clear base. So if you just want a nice, beautiful color, then this is clear base. Ocean Bliss is very good. Hollow, this is a holographic lip gloss with holographic glitter. The holographic does, the hollow does show up on your lips so it's so pretty i am in love with it i have multiple other lip glosses on my website so make sure you guys go shop they're only three dollars and right now i'm having a hot a hot pop-up sale ah. so right now if you buy two lip glosses you'll get one lip gloss for one dollar make sure you guys type in two for one and i also do shell lashes so as you guys might see right now i do have honey on and then i have nst and i do have new lashes coming in the future so right now on my website is just honey and nst i sell my lashes wholesale so if you would like for me to just be your vendor i can give you as many lashes as you want the wholesale pricing is on my website as well i also do sell scrunchies so make sure you guys hook me up on the scrunchies so if you guys are interested in to scrunchies these are handmade scrunchies with um velvet material so if you guys are interested in scrunchies i do sell them I sell lash wands um so as you guys can see i do have my logo on here lash technician and you do lashes and you want um just a little lash wand for your aftercare kit for your customers i can make them customized for you and so basically it's just for your customers to wash their eyelashes with you know and stuff like that so i could put your logo on here and i do have that wholesale as well so i do have pricing of that on my website as well okay so make sure you guys go shop my small beauty bar this is just the beginning let me just say that this is just the beginning for my brand and i'm just gonna get, keep growing and keep growing and i'm just gonna find my way and i'm gonna have a successful brand we're gonna go multi-million and that's just it <laughs> period I'm going to reach all my goals for 2020 and it starts with you. So make sure you go shop and I'll see you when you make your purchase. So yes, all my advice I can give you. Um, I hope that you take it and you run with it and you go be amazing. I will see y'all later in my next video. Make sure you guys go subscribe. Make sure you guys like this video. If it was very informative to you, if it helped you out a lot because all I'm in here for is to help. I do have more business videos coming. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. And yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys have in store. If you have um, businesses, make sure you put them down below. If you are a young entrepreneur, link your business down below. It's just the love, spread the love. Um, and yeah, so I hope to see you guys later. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And 
Deuces.